Hello everybody, my name is Jmetric. Welcome back to Her Herald Halibut. He just said Harry and I knew that was wrong. Let's see here. This button does what? Probably brings up the elevator again. It's such a weird button press animation. I don't think I can do anything else in here. We need to find Coco. I'm wondering if the bird would be in any of the rooms to the right from here. Only the one's open still. Okay. You just stand in here all the time? I, I can't even talk to you. This is what people do. A landmark customer poll reflecting our continued commitment to being approachable and accountable. So if that, if you're in there, is your door open? No. Okay. Coco is not over here. Where should we go? I guess we have to go back to bed. Gotta learn how to make water like that. It'd be interesting to learn. For some reason, just contact your nearest, and all water will make it up to you. Your nearest. Blah, 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 blah. Looks like only one of these is open. Destination chosen. And it's forcing us to go into a certain area. I think I saw on that one where the waters came from as well, you just above arrived. the door window. Have you checked your pockets before? For it to have more graffiti. No, nothing. Hey, Professor. Oh, are those the new teacups? Come and oh. see for yourself. Oh, I promise I ordered them. Harold, just look. Is it? We gotta be menacing about this. It's a ransom note for the rock? It's the rock! When you were lost in the dark, you have to go deeper to find your way out. The light keepers. Most intriguing. I'm irregular. So, if the light keepers could get the rock, and they knew we wanted it, that means that... Uh, they must be... Sigh. Who... Harold, it's late, Sigh. and we've had enough excitement for one day. Let's leave the theories until tomorrow. Sure. I'm just happy that whoever they are, they're on our side. So it seems for now. Good night, Harold. See you in the morning. Okay. I don't know if it was me night personally professor. and I finally got the thing that I'm looking for. I'm putting that in the machine right now. It doesn't matter how tired I am. Time to sleep. Especially like I wouldn't let that rock out of my sights. Like, we got all that effort in order to get it. It's like, nah, I'm looking at it. We're getting those results now. Gosh, whoever made that leak must be feeling pretty terrible right now. I'm glad it wasn't me messing up for once. Let's what? see what tomorrow brings. Harold, you sleep with the light on, your shoes on, and your tools on the... on your belt. One more. Oh. Let's see, how much would that make it be? I guess it would be exactly 50 years and then it's been two days now. What time do you call this? Uh, morning. Good morning, Professor. The time is... I know what the time is. There's lots to be done. How yeah, are we going to be... find out who the light keepers are? I'm just as curious as you, Harold, but we have better things to do. I suppose you're right. How can I help? 
you can start by taking the rope to Bridget. She'll okay. make the necessary preparations for analysis, which you should be able to handle. Okay, great. No way. I'll get right on it. And Harold, try to remember that whoever the light keepers are, our jobs here are to make life more stable for the people here, not less. I know. I know. I'll get going. Do the light keepers not do that? I don't have enough context for them. So we have to deliver the rock to Bridget, who should be in energy production. In their office. Long, boring hallways. Energy district. We're sorry. We're sorry. Enjoy the view. However, little bell noises. Just wonderful. I wonder how the tube system would hold up if you were to actually take this thing back into space. But anyway. Now we can go in here. Bridget, rock delivery. Hi, Bridget. Are you ready to rock, Harold? Uh, with rock. Oh, Harold, you can be such a killjoy sometimes. You're just not anyway, fun. Anyway, it's going to take a while to analyze this little guy, so I'll send for you when it's ready. Oh, okay, great. Thanks, Bridget. Oh, Harold, Bye. while you're here, maybe you could help me with a little something? Do I get to sort the rocks uh, by maybe, color? But don't you think? Now, now, you'll do quite well. There's a little experiment I've been wanting to run. The remote control of the conveyors isn't working right now. My theory is Cyrus and his mugs of tea that he always forgets about before knocking over. So I need your help to manually control them. Can do. I'll be in here recording and analyzing the data. Right, see that button over there? The big one next to the conveyor starts and stops them. I think I can handle that. Yes, well, don't get cocky. I'll give you more detailed instructions over the loudspeakers as we go along. Okie dokie. I'm here. Okay, so, there are three different types of organisms on the conveyor. Yes. Each is a different color. Wow, They're I am pretty. sorting them by color. See, don't I make life easy for you? But I want you to focus on the red ones for now, since we're comparing their data to past readings. Red ones. I got it. I'd be worried if you didn't. Anyway, what if I was colorblind? Under the green machine next to you and stop the conveyor, please. Okay, great. On to the next step. Now, you see the analysis machine? The one Go next to me. Up. The machine's UI is pretty easy. There are just two buttons. One to chop the sample, and one to coat it in our lovely space bacteria mix. Chop and coat. I see. Right. I'll be prepping the actual data recording in the meantime. I'll let you know exactly when to start the process. Wait for okay. my command. Just like comedy, timing is everything here. Now. We've sliced it. Great. Time to coat the sample. Oh, that's Harold, not it. How much smaller are you intending to chop it? it look, you said now it was intuitive, it. but like... Nice. There, you happy? Let's see what we have. Ah, I see. I see. Oh, do you? Okay, we need two more readings to have a representative data set. Okay, so I need to go back to the other one and then put it back to red. Green. Green. Red. Nice one. Now on to the next step. I want to chop up the red X next. Now. Only one. Great. Time to coat the sample. Yes. Okay, great. It is done. Now show me what you got. Hmm, intriguing. Just the one left now. Oh, is it now? Okay. Okay, great. On to the next step. Look at us sorting the colors so expertly. Now, 
Tell me when. Ah! Great. We gotta coat it. Time to coat the sample. Nice. Uh huh. Let's see what we have. Ah, I see. I see. Nice one, Harold. That's everything we need. Meet me back wow. at the control room, and we can look over the results together. Yeah, sure. Should I be right next to the machine as it's spraying out the bacteria, though? Just, just think it out loud. These results. It looks like our catalytic bacteria is starting to have diminishing returns on the energy output. That's not good, right? No, but it also doesn't make much sense. Why, Why? would the bacteria have been fine until now? The water. I'm the best person to ask. What could have changed? The water. I'm not sure. I've run the tests. The key variables, pH level, density, etc., the water are all stable on the bacteria. We're using the same organic matter for it to convert. And I've been double checking the filters. They're filtering at the same levels as always. I mean, could something outside the ship be to blame? It is possible that somehow the organic matter is being affected before it hits the filters. But none of the tests we've run on the matter itself shows any key variants. Mm, strange. Are the energy returns diminishing very badly? I'm not panicking yet, Harold. It's just a trend we can't let continue indefinitely. Unless we can yeah, that's for sure. find a whole new system for producing energy. Not panicking at all. Oh. Petroleum, oh, let's go. I should get back to Moreau, but just let me know if there's anything else I could do to help. I'll keep you posted, Harold. And thanks. Yeah, sure, absolutely. Not a waste of my time at all. Okay, uh, did we have to do anything else down here? We have to find Coco. That's optional. Speak to secretary number eight. Is there anybody in here? Coco? No. No Coco. Hey, Harold. Hello, Hi. Si. How's the start procedure going? So, so, I've got an awful lot to get through and no one to help me with it all. That's no true, way. Si. Madam CEO asked us to keep an eye on, uh, I mean, help you. Mm, what do you mean, asked and I? Uh, just that, you know, uh, she was concerned about you, I guess. Hmm. Well, she must really trust me. It's not like I'm one of the ship's foremost experts in molecular sciences. So, nothing to do with is that. your procedure idea exactly? So, there are a couple of stages to it. The first stage is all about our current stasis. As we all know, the ship's weight and the fact certain sections are full of water gives us a stable buoyancy. And because of the tide, we're in a very slow and long orbit. So, we start by pumping some of the water out through the ship's thrusters, accelerating our orbital trajectory. Then comes phase two. Once we reach a certain velocity, we pump more water into the unused core, letting us sink deeper toward the gravity well, which will tighten our orbit but keep the speed, thus building greater momentum. Yeah, like those ice skaters when they crouch down in a pirouette. Oh, those videos are great. When you get slippy to let you borrow them, anyway. Ooh, is that where you got the idea from? Um, Interesting. No, my idea came from much less frivolous scientific principles. Mm, but yeah, they are good bids. As I was saying, once we reach max It's interesting that it looks speed, like they just actually took a projector and replaced the pictures by hand water. for the <laughs> animation there. Like it's just a video, be. essentially. At the same time, and use the sudden extra buoyancy to break free of our orbit on an upwards trajectory towards the planet's surface. Oh, a bit like an ancient cephalopod. It, well, uh, yeah, uh, exactly. It, how on Fedora did you know about that? Oh, I found a book lying around in the lab called Masterminds of the Deep. I kind of hoped it was going to be an adventure novel. Ah, huh. interesting. I was going to say, it's interesting anyway, they're saying words wrong, but it's also tricky. probably because of being so long be from Earth and people border, who say it correctly. Our velocity will slow down the closer we get to the surface, but if we time everything right, our initial slingshot should create just enough momentum to allow us to break free the ocean surface for about a minute. Like a flying fish. It'll be so weird to see the sky. Focus, Harold. This is the most crucial part. 
we must launch the thrusters at exactly the right moment if we wish to achieve escape velocity. Too early, they'll be waterlogged. Too late, and we'll crash right back into the sea. Wow, Sai, that's an amazing plan. Think it'll work? Oh, in theory, absolutely. But there's something in my calculations that seems off. Now, I've What's checked that? everything, but I can't pin down the variable. Like the timing? Um, kind of. Now, if I didn't know better, I'd say time itself. Okay. Anyway, what did Maro say about what Madame CEO said? Oh, she said she trusted you and that there was no need. Did she now? Uh, yeah. Hmm. Huh. Knowing her, she did it just to spite the CEO. Anyway, you seen Sunny recently? Um, no. no, not for a long time, actually. Since you two went your separate ways? Mm-hmm. She said she needed to find herself. In the social area, because I haven't sure seen her? she'll turn up eventually. Were things all right between you? Yeah, it was, you know, we're, we're two different people. Sunny alone is at least two different people. But I'm glad it wasn't anything too dramatic. Anyway, back to work for me. Yeah, looks like you've got it cut out for you. Good luck, Sai. Got a note on the plan. Keeping an eye out for the bird. A halting. That's where we are, that's where we came from. I haven't been to the central station in a little while, at least. Have a pleasant journey and a fantastic day. You may now exit the tube. Thank you on behalf of the All Water Corporation you? for choosing to travel with us today. Hello there, little miss. Are you lost? You could call me Lise. And oh, now, I see. I'm just waiting for someone. Oh, is Lise like a combination of little and miss? No, stupid. It's my name. What's your name? It's Harold. Something that nobody can remember. Is Harold like R and O combined? Well, I suppose it is, actually. Can you just leave me alone? I'll yell stranger danger if you don't. Okay. Bye, Lise. God, children are inseparable. If it wasn't a game, do not go anywhere near them. Ah, hello there. Secretary 8? That's me, sir. Can I help you get where you're going? That's okay. I was actually wondering... Well, I've been speaking to your brothers. Oh, how nice. Which ones? 24. Mr. 17 and Mr. 24. Well, I didn't speak to Mr. 24 about that, but... Ah, yeah. uh, yes. Yes, good, loyal, all-water employees both. I dare say I've been a good influence. Although even my shining example couldn't extend to him. So, he's the fourth brother. What happened to him? Oh, <clears throat> I do apologize. I've got to see to uh, matters. But I'm sure 24 can help with your inquiries. He has a better grip on the whole sordid affair than I do. Of course. Okay, Mr. Eight. So I wonder where 24 even is. Where can I go here? Yeah! Apologies. The utility district route is undergoing maintenance. This is perfectly normal and routine, and travelers are advised not to waste time complaining via letter. So, candle. Okay. So let's see, what is next? So, secure, secretary number 24 is at the Allwater, so I can go talk to them. They were in the office, but it was also night, so they were probably in there. Destination Room. determined. Now, relax with all water. Let's go. You're here. I am here. Using all water tubes. I'm being observed by a camera. They digitized number whatever I'm looking for. Hello. Okay, I hit talk to you. Come on, Harold, figure it out. Mr. 24. Hi. There we go. Mr. Halibut? So, 
I was just Remember. talking to your brother, Secretary 17. I mean, in... <laughs> It was funny. Actually, at first I thought he was your other brother, Eight. I'm sure he found it just as hilarious as I do. Do you need something? Only that when I spoke to Eight about what Seventeen said, he said to speak to you about what happened with your fourth brother. Ah, yes. Our wayward Warren, the fourth brother who went his separate way, choosing a life of gastronomical frivolity over contributing to society with all water. Oh, I see. Are you ashamed of him just because he didn't follow you all into working for the corporation? Is that why none of you like to talk about him? Actually, he tried, but he didn't pass the entrance exam. We suspect his heart wasn't really in it. We used to do everything together and we were supposed to stick together. But he didn't study enough, and now... Yes, what does he do now? <sighs> Last I heard, Warren had started a food stall. I don't want to think about it. Was that it. the opening okay. soon sign? Well, thanks for telling me about him. I'll leave you be. <laughs> okay, that solves that mystery. I guess we go back to the all water district. Oh, sorry, that's where I am. We go back to central station. Location nominated. Journey and then we can go back to the, uh, maybe the lab area and we can go down the stairs. See if there's anything over there. Let's we go to the arcade. I guess we'll go to the lab because we just got them to analyze the rock as well, so they should be letting us know probably by the phone there when we have um, an update on that. You enjoy traveling with all water. You're welcome. Yeah, I do wonder if it dries you off as well. Crunchy herring pops. Nobody. Or that leave a lot to the imagination. If these made a noise, I could only imagine what the noise would be. That'd be pretty amazing, actually. I think it's more funny that it separates from the wall. I just like how it looks. I like broken things in games. It just stands out so much. At least it's pretty easy to tell if you're not in the right area because there's just nobody there. Assuming nobody's going to be over here in the pump filtration area. Yeah, this whole area is pretty empty. Alright, back up to the office see if we could talk to, um... Uh, Moreau, was it? Sounding more like a wine name than a person. Full of stuff. seen any reason to be here. Let's see, where else is there to go? We can go to... I guess we'll take a look at the list when we get there. So we'll go to the arcade. you on your choice of destination. you where you're going. Hi, Major. A 
Let's see, nothing stands out right now. I think soon still, the shop is open. Glass is cleaned up. Uh, Harold, you heard about the leak too, right? Yes. Uh, Quite interesting, oh, the leaked audio. I bet the guy did it on purpose. Ah, uh, stop with your conspiracy theories. What if it's he's right? not a conspiracy. I'm just saying maybe he was trying to do the right thing. Oh, I hadn't thought about that possibility. More likely he'd had a few. Not everything is caused or solved by beer, you know, Tommy. Yeah, but something. But it's a are. solution. You should try it for once. Okay, I'll uh, speak to you both later. I'll just peruse your shop. I guess that's if they just argue and then uh stand there. Okay. Buddy, hey, just great. Say, did you hear the leak? I did hear the leak. What do you think will happen to the poor guy? Well, his face is going to be pretty red for a while, but I'm Assuming sure it's a mistake he'll bounce still. right back, though. Yeah, I suppose so. What do you think the message will be? We'll yeah, really. We'll see, I wager. I think it'll be fascinating either way. I just hope it doesn't upset Sawyer too much. He can be sensitive about these kinds of things. Oh, true. She's in a pretty tough situation. He sure is. Maybe I should get him to come on the next station jog with me. You know, get his legs active and his mind nice and calm. That could be nice. Hmm. Speaking of which, about time you joined me on one again, eh? You're right, but... Oh, sorry, buddy. I just realized I said I'd be somewhere. Talk to you soon. See ya, Harold. Yeah, can't do that again. Gonna lose horribly. Do you have anything new? the plot yeah tell no us about the book way i'm ruining a surprise for you let's just say it's an epic bildungsroman told through multiple narrators oh it's, it's it ancient out. byzantine empire the far future planet of gazor oh the is it present day of 19th century papua new guinea so wow. gazor so it you found rick and morty what's it called nebola i see so where did you find the book? Huh. I have a friend in logistics. There were a couple of unopened safety deposit boxes. Unopened since launch because the owners hadn't actually made it onto the ship. The statute of limitations ran out. They cracked them open and she gave me a call to see if I wanted this book. Whoa. What else was in the boxes? Oh. I didn't ask. Wow. I wonder okay. who it belongs to. Yeah. And why they never made it onto the ship. Some mysteries will never be solved. Oh, well maybe I'll base my next interpretive dance piece on that idea. I can't wait to see it. I'll be watching. Thanks, Harold. Yeah, what if they didn't make it on the ship on purpose? Like there was some insider information that told them that we're actually not in space. And did I just fall off the stage? Hold on. Yep, you could just walk right off the stage. Makes sense. Just unexpected. Can I go in here? No. To find the last brother. Hello again. Okay. My assumption if they're opening the food truck, I'm assuming that's what this is all the way on the right over here. Because, uh, what else would this be? I uh, can't do anything with it. Alright. 
We got some more answers to what's going on and what we have to do, but I'm going to figure out what to do next. And it's just in time to end this one anyway. So thank you all so much for watching. I will see you in the next one. But until then, have a good one. Bye.